session for residential process in Indianapolis. In this session, today I will discuss about the customer satisfaction and involvement in TPA. The outline of this session will be like this. First, we'll we'll see what is customer and what are the different classifications of customer. Then, what is customer satisfaction model? Then, perception <coughs> of quality of a customer. Then, customer feedback. Uh, first, we'll see what is a customer. A customer is an individual or business that purchases the goods or services produced by a business. Customer actually creates the demands for the goods and services. There is a model called as customer satisfaction organization diagram, which tells the different levels of organizations right from the CEO up to the customers. Now the different classification customers are internal and external customer. Internal customer is one; it may be individual, division, or employee who purchases the product, or uh, he is a part of a company, and he acts. He also acts as a middleman between the company and the external customer. Whereas external customer is one individual who do not belong to the company, or he may be the individual or a customer. The whenever a company manufactures a product, he try to meet the demands of the external customers. Now there is a customer satisfaction model which explains the satisfaction level of the customer, which has been defined by Tebol, which is defined as Tebol's model. Now there are three parameters here. There is customer needs, customer satisfaction, and company offer. Now every company try to <coughs> satisfy the customer needs or the requirement by producing a product. Now the intersection intersection between the these two diagram is called as customer satisfaction. It is very important aspect, and every company wants to achieve it at the highest level. Now we'll see what is the customer perception of the quality. American Society of Quality, that is ASQ, has defined some of the important factors that influences the purchases of a product, and they have been categorized as first is performance. Performance relates to the fitness for use. So whenever a company manufactures a product, if it is serving its purpose, then it is fit for use. Then it can be measured in terms of availability of the product, reliability of the product, and utility of the product. Second feature is called as features, which are which is defined as the secondary characteristics of any product. For example, aesthetic look of a product can be called as feature. Third is called as <coughs> uh, serviceability. Serviceability can be defined as a degree to which servicing of product can be achieved with. The available resources. Then next comes the warranty. Warranty actually represents the promise of product. So whenever a customer put purchases a product for the from a company, the company promises he, him some warranty about the product. Now next uh, factor is the price. Whenever customer any pays any price, expects some value from the product. Last one is called as the reputation. Reputation is nothing but it is the brand value or the equity associated with any product or a company, and it it is not related to only the product but it is the entire experience of the organization. Then lastly, we will see what is the customer feedback because customer feedback is very very important for a company because it will help the company to uncover the flaws in the business, and it will also help the company to. For continuous improvement. Now there are different parameters uh, associated with customer feedback. The first one is called discover discover customer dissatisfaction. So if a company <coughs> identifies the loopholes where uh, the when the uh, customer is not satisfied about the particular product, then it can overcome that and it can develop a better product. Then the next is discover the relative priorities of the quality. Now here the prioritization of the goals is very very important. So uh, you have to define what are the important aspects of a quality. And third one is called compare the performance with competition because always there will be competition in the market. So always you have to for a company you have to benchmark that with the competitors. Then next is called identifying the customer needs. So if a company <coughs> Identify the customers at a very early stage, then it can gain a first more advantage. The last thing is called as determine 
the opportunities for the improvement so always the company has to identify the opportunities in the market so uh, this was the total session in the next and upcoming sessions we'll discuss about what is customer satisfaction and, and customer involvement in detail thank you